would just be coming up underneath us quite nicely. It might have actually took off when he was about 45 degrees from me. Probably would have been more ideal. Probably would have only had to do one all bit. Maybe next time I'll tell you about going in nuclear bunkers. Yeah, 6.4. There he is. So we're going to swing ourselves round so we retrograde to the target, which is this one. Then we are basically pointing our son to, or to his vector anyway. Your vector, Victor. Now we'll do some timey skipping. Yeah, we'll wait till it gets to about seven. So. Seven's quite a lot, you know. Might be a double rescue mission on telling you this now. But overestimated how much fuel I'll have left based on the performance of the other one. But they're not quite the same. Very low, try and get the best. Can. I can even just get close and get them on board. Well, I'll have a drink, something to eat. Uh, we've pretty much try and get it round, pointing directly at the target now. Now we're going to point ourselves directly at the target. Now we've more or less killed our relative velocity. We're just going to try and get heading in their direction. We're really trying to save a bit of fuel for a deal orbit. If I can just catch some atmosphere, we'll do it. We've got a closing speed of 17.3. We could do it, you know. Let's try and get us a bit more spot on. Yeah, Softly catch your monkey. slow down. Hopefully we can just don't want to be going too fast when we meet. Yeah, we're gonna do this thing, but we're gonna be stuck. But yeah, the good thing is he's it's gonna be inside a ship, I mean we're gonna get paid for that. going to get paid for him being on board and that will probably cover the cost of getting a load of Still going to make a profit. So we're getting a bit of drift here as well. 3.6, 3.5, is that enough? We're going to be closer. Yeah, I 
think we're doing this. God no, we should have a a more or less circular orbit. Close enough here. Nope. Go ahead and straight at him, though. A fairly steady. Pl I mean, if I had RCS right now, this would be simple. Really looking forward to space planes because you're going to see a lot of death, a lot of destruction. I can guarantee it. I can absolutely guarantee space planes will be mayhem. Actually, I've just thought of a plan. Just thought of a plan. What if, when we get this guy over here, that he just plonks his heart on there and then uses his thrusters to just, you know, just dip us down to about 70 kilometers. So we start catching a bit of air. Worth consideration. 2.5. Don't. You're telling me 2.4 is not close enough. Okay, no distant, no nearby objects. What's that? Ah, here we got him. Where's the ship? Hello. Must be one. Let's go. Put some lights on just in case. Now we just got a match. Drift with it. Up a bit, I think. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a space station. Maybe assembling something in orbit that's going to go to Minmus and stay there, maybe. Because I think the key to this 0 0.24, 0 0.25 is um, not just the reusability of all your um, stuff and how cheaply you can get into orbit but it's timing as well, it's waiting for those good contracts that fit in you know like if you ever planted a flag on the moon then left the moon and then halfway home they want you to plant another flag on the moon you know you wish that they would make up their mind but the best thing is just leave people dotted about you know, send someone up to relieve them. You know, send some new crew up. I'm going to overrun a little bit with this one, but hopefully with editing I can maybe skip a few bits. Oh, come on. Let's get nearer. Speed up, damn you. Yes, we know. Situation normal. All you're doing fine. Let's go and get some new air Even though it doesn't work for us yet. Yeah, I wish um, space engineers had time skip sometimes. Don't know. Physically impossible. Just different, different way of handling the game. It 
See, Kerbal tends to handle it a little bit like Elite Dangerous. Go with your frame shift drive. And then she just got time skip, but it's kind of essentially the same thing. Whoa, Nelly. be on board my space program mate. Seriously. Them kind of skills. Further over this way this time. Safely on board. And Go through these old ones. That was an old one. That was an old one. That was an old one. That was last week. That was just now. We've achieved something. Now, as for the orbit, well, now is the time to do it. We're going to do it at all. Really guys, one decent burst. Thirty-six. Bang on the money, man. Oh, God. Not much past Space Center, which is not showing up. That was oh my god. That's got to be the most... Time and seat of your pants rescue ever. Well done guys, well done. Make me proud now. Let's review that stored data. Grasslands on curbing. Go away. Still got to do that, but we'll be going up doing some stuff. Maybe a satellite with that if I can advance tech tree a little bit. For some reason I've got these damn things open me. Don't want to go away. That'll go away, but not them. Open new ones, not close the old ones. That's really interesting. I've never come across that before. Let's see if those parachutes are up for the job, eh? Don't need the tracking computer on. That we don't need. 
Jesus. What if I had a mad little concoction, but it's going to get the job done. Oh, we should go away. It's got to be a button. Probably edit it out and go go for the landing. So see you on the other side. <coughs> yeah, I'll just cut it and then go to re entry. I'll do. <laughs> Should be hitting the atmosphere about now. Not the thick part anyway, the bit that burns you up. I've popped the chutes already. Because I want to try and try and bring us down over land at the very least. And I'm going to increase my screen resolution for the next episodes. Once my system's 100% running. This looks a bit murky at the moment. Yeah, I know I can do better than this. As I slowly progress and I learn, I will learn what's best and I'll learn what settings are best. I'll learn what what is the best mic. I'm definitely getting a different mic set up from this. This is useless. At the same time, I've got to try and do it on a budget. Unless you're looking at my adverts, I ain't getting nothing for it. And to date, no one ever has. So, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing it because I get an adrenaline rush. I'm an adrenaline junkie. 
and they get a rush out of doing things in hard mode and trying not to fail. You know, and doing it on camera, it's, you know, I don't know about you, but when I play Kerbal, I tend to get a knot in my stomach at moments like this. And you're wondering whether your plan has worked. Or what's going to happen. Or whether it will launch, especially if you're on no redos. I mean, you know, I did a redo just a little at the beginning of this mission because all that fired was separatrons in theory that wouldn't have scratched the mission. Just replace the separatrons, put everything yet. in the right order and you're done. So, you know, it never actually yeah, took off, so there was no real revert, it hadn't left the launch pad. But I'll try not to do reverts if I can help it. You know, even if that failure of that revert causes my entire space grab program to just come crashing around my ears and it all ends in abysmal failure. I won't be reverting if I can help it. I mean if there's a technical problem like a couple of days ago the washing machine blew up I and mean, I've got three kids so the washing machine is like on the go constant. Empty one load, put another load in, set it going, not it goes. Come back, empty it, put the next load in and it's just constant. And when it breaks down you know all about it. Do you know what I mean? It really seriously you think it wouldn't eat into your spare time, but it does, because then you've got to find another way of washing all them clothes, hanging them out to dry in this horrible weather. You know, it just ain't happening, so it's radiators and... You know what I mean, because I've got a machine with a tumble dryer built in, so... Just put it in there, press a button, and it comes out dry. Wonderful gadget. Yeah, I'm very domesticated being a single parent with three kids. Hey, nicely done guys, nicely done. Do some science while we're here, he's getting out of the bottom. Hatch, hatch. Jebediah. Testing out our equipment by walking right off into the distance over there while we rescue normal. How about you? You know, just take a little walk and you like that, Jeb? Just nod. No, no, don't like that, okay. No, I don't like the idea. get back in. No, I don't know. Okay. Interesting. So, um, yeah, I'll end it here. And it's probably a bit over, but I'm going to chop some down using uh, the editing software that I'll just put back on. I'll try and keep it down to half hour. And, yeah, maybe we'll do something a bit more interesting next week then rescuing some retard that got stuck in space. Oh, and I've got some science points to spend, I think. Eighty-three science points. Two hundred and one altogether. Is that science? Eighty-three, and I was right the first time. Yeah, that's useful. Useful for the radial decouplers. Small in line reaction wheel, still useful. And the scan technology and batteries. And Science Junior. Well, science wins every time. And we can afford to do that. So we now have extra science parts for the next mission and we shall launch some sort of satellite 
That one's coming again. That is very useful. That winglet. But we can't afford it, so... Yep, yeah, next week we'll spend a few quid on a few parts. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your support, you know that. I really do. Even though, you know, I'm not... I don't do YouTube to show off, really. I don't do it to, to be wacky and, you know, and liked. I don't care if you like it. It's just me playing Kerbal and me playing Space Engineers. Maybe DayZ later. And, you know, never know, maybe some other games. Just have to go through my list and see what I've got, guys. Anyway, for now, thanks. I'll see you later.